Hey everyone, welcome back to another Patty's Lab video. This was not a video I was intending to uh, to make today because I'm working on a much cooler project but I got a lot of questions and criticism regarding the Dremel sanding drum and the user Benniker on Thingiverse he asked me or gave me a suggestion uh, maybe you should use a helical design so I designed the fins to be uh, helical and therefore they act like a fan and suck in air and supposed to have better cooling of the part. I also changed something about the uh, old drum which is actually version 2.0 and I will discuss that in the next clip uh, and then after that I will discuss the uh, slicer settings for Cura and also Prusa slicer because I got a lot of questions regarding that as well. And then after that I will demonstrate that both of these with normal use will just work fine. So please keep watching and enjoy the video. So first talk about the model changes. What I did is I removed some of the fins from the 2.0 version to make a little bit more room for the stringiness of them. So the fins have a little bit more wiggle room if you press on the, the drum. And I also reduced the outer diameter to 13 millimeters instead of 13.2. And why I did that is it will make the model uh, more likely to be uh, scaled up because you can of course scale them in the X and the Y direction, not in the Z, in order to make them fit your drums perfectly fine. But if you need to scale them down because they are too large, then uh, basically this recessed hole right here will also become smaller and maybe uh, it will become a hazard and the screw head will be uh, not, not fitting anymore in there. Of course this center hole is just fine because you, you always need to drill that out with a 3.2 millimeter drill bit ideally or if you don't have it a 3.5 millimeter drill bit and therefore that will always be the correct size. So that's basically the changes that I made. Uh, to make the models a little bit more versatile. Then for the orientation, I uh, also got questions like, oh, uh, do I need to add supports in here? No, you just have to uh, place the flat part uh, onto the build plate and then these should be facing up. Uh, if you load the models in, they will be upside down and that's something I fucked up in the uh, in plane, in the in modeling software. So you have to flip them over. So this should be the top. Now regarding the slicing, I modeled these fins to be 0.42 millimeters wide. And why I did that is if you, if you disable features like print thin walls, uh, flow compensation, and filter out uh, or, or pr uh, fill in tiny gaps, if you disable those features, the printer will just uh, round this off to the closest multiple of a line width which is in this case one line width of 0.4 millimeters. So you need a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Now I will move over to the Prusa slicer. And I have basically downloaded this today and I've never seen it before. And as you can see right here, the models are upside down. So we need to rotate them. And this is almost the same as uh, Scura. No. I need to snap, hold shift perhaps. Oh, it's, it's, it snaps. So now they are in the correct orientation. Now we need to go into print settings and advanced. And by default, uh, for me, this was set to 0 0.45. And I just spoke before that the fins are 0 0.42 millimeters uh, wide. So this of course will create a lot of artifacts. So if we actually slice them, then we will see uh, a mess of dots and yeah, the fins are not even there. And of course this will not print fine. So if we go back into the print settings and actually change this to 0 0.4, just as we did in Cura, and I don't know if they all need to be this size, probably not, but I have to spend more time uh, on this slicer if I actually ever want to use it. And if we slice it now, you can see that the fins did slice perfectly fine 
and these are all treated as 0.4 millimeter lines. <clears throat> so even with your Prusa printer, you can print this uh, perfectly fine. And of course, there are maybe other settings that you need to tweak, but this is maybe the biggest uh, flaw that people encountered is that the settings are set by default to be wider than the fins themselves and therefore not uh, actually correctly slice. So I will now show you a demonstration of the new function uh, functionality of the new ver version. I will now show you a demonstration of the newer version, the helical design, because it was basically uh, the idea behind it was that it should cool itself and also um, blow away a little bit of the dust. So keep watching, I will show you and I will also not break the, the drums this time. I will just show you how to use them and also show them sh and I will also show you that they are just durable. And what I did in version 2.0 is just breaking them and show you that they are really tough. But if you just use them normally, there is no fear of breaking them. So let's go and uh, use the drums and I will show you that they don't break. So there is of course no better place than to use the kitchen as your testing area and litter everything with sawdust. So slide on a drum. And make sure that this drum is getting on really tight, because else it might wander off. That's the only drawback. You need to make sure that this, this has a snug fit. This is the older version, and I scaled it to 102% in the end, in X and Y. So let's test it and sand the piece of wood. And as you can see, it works absolutely fine. It still is really snug to take off. Nothing has molten. Everything is just the way it should be. So that's the uh, original one. Now let's test out the uh, new suggested idea, the helical one. I'm gonna apply the same drum, snug fit, and then we're gonna test it on a piece of wood and see if it fares any better than the other one. So, I don't think there is much of a difference. The only thing I can imagine, this is still uh, plenty snug, the only thing I can imagine is that uh, whenever you apply a lot of pressure uh, at one side, that this tries to wander off. So maybe if you have your fit uh, not entirely corrected, it can wander off. But of course, it didn't happen here. and. Well, people that say that the rubber drums are better are of course correct because they will actually uh, bulge in the middle and then actually secure the drum really tight. But the thing is, if the drums basically maintain that uh, bulge out shape, it's really hard to change the, uh, the drums again. So that's why I designed these plastic ones, because it's just easier to change them. So the helical design, in my opinion, doesn't add any value over just... Uh, the regular one with the straight fins. So it's really up to you to choose which one you, you want to have. I will upload the helical one as well. Make sure you have the scaling correct and you have the fit and finish correct 
and just don't apply an idiotic amount of pressure because this is still a Dremel and it's not a, um, a angle grinder or a belt sander. So that's my advice. So thank you all for watching and remember just try to DIY.